I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes last May, so a little, a little over a year ago. And receiving that diagnosis was a, definitely a shock to me. It's not something I was expecting. I think it was overwhelming. I had a lot of questions, especially, I mean, I think it's overwhelming at any age, but I can only speak from my own experience and that I, I've lived, you know, I've grown up without it. It's not something I've ever had to consider in my day to day before. I use a flash glucose monitor now. It's not something I have access through any sort of coverage. I basically use free samples from my diabetes clinic. So it's just kind of something I go month by month with. It's not something I know that I have access to for months going forward. Having access to a flash glucose monitor brings a lot of comfort knowing that I can kind of go about my day to day and not have to have questions as to like where my blood sugar is all the time or just not knowing and having that information available to be able to properly manage my disease and keep myself as healthy as possible. There's a lot of information I get through seeing my graphs of where my blood sugar goes throughout the day versus just finger pricks, you know, at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I have no idea what it's doing in between. So I'm kind of just going off of that. I, I know now that it like fluctuates a lot every day. When you have a sensor, you've got that kind of automatically checking your blood sugar and then that talks to your pump. So then your pump knows what your blood sugar is and it can kind of suggest different dosages. It takes away one aspect of having to like do everything so manually, which you know, I'm a <laughs> busy 25 year old and that kind of thing would, would be great to not have to think about when I'm in the middle of working and running around and doing regular stuff that <laughs> someone my age would do. I've become a lot more confident in taking injections in public over the last year, but there's some situations like where I'm at work and I can't stop to, to do something or I'm in the middle of, usually at work is the problem or, you know, just in public at a restaurant or on an airplane or on the bus, like stuff like that. But if you had an insulin pump, you could kind of just, you know, take it out and press a few buttons and do the thing. But it, it just takes more time to have to, you know, take out needles and stuff. And then sometimes it makes you feel a little self-conscious because people look or wonder what you're doing. and. One day you go from just being a regular adult and the next day I'm like having to stop and take injections. Like the idea of doing that, I'm like, I only I don't do injections. <laughs> it's not something I think about ever. So for that to become such a normal part of my life was an adjustment completely. And it took a while to get to a point where I was comfortable 